Um, good evening to all my friends in Rome and uh, to all the friends of the Global Institute for Management around the world, which is associated, as we know, with the Santa Croce uh, University. I've been asked to say a few words as the founding patron of this, uh, I think, very, very fine work, which has begun so well. And I'd like to begin by congratulating Monsignor Martin Schlag and Pieter Selene for the progress that has been uh, achieved. Uh, it is um, impressive. It's Catholic. Catholic means uh, universal. And uh, the Institute is hoping to set up uh, partnerships in many uh, places in the world, uh, just as it's certainly drawing students who've come to Rome to study uh, from many, many, many parts of the world. I've been asked to say a few words um, uh, about my time in jail, uh, which uh, is a, an adventure I would not have chosen, but I have uh, survived it. And I'm going to attempt to relate uh, uh, one or two thoughts, you know, one or two of the helps uh, for that uh, period uh, to the work of the uh, uh, of the institute, uh, because basically we uh, we believe that grace works through nature, and uh, it's one thing to have a spiritual vision which comes from Christ. It's uh, another thing to have a plan or a project, and of course. Uh, to implement those things, you need managerial um, skills, uh, uh, human capacity, which is uh, trained uh, and shaped uh, for good and um, godly purposes. Now, uh, in jail, of course, uh, I was there as a Christian, um, inspired by the teachings of Christ, very much comforted by the teachings of Christ, unable to uh, celebrate Mass, but uh, certainly with plenty of time on my hands to pray every day. And, uh, and that I did. Uh, I did it because it was uh, my duty, uh, it was uh, congruent, and it was personally uh, helpful. But alongside that, I had a set of practical steps to take. My life was very regular. Um, I was woken every morning at uh, quarter past seven, but I didn't go back to bed. I stayed up. I know of some prisoners who did go back to bed. Um, I made certain that I took uh, exercise uh, every day. I looked after my uh, diet. I was probably healthier when I left jail than when I came in. I'd lost uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, weight, and of course, uh, there is uh, no alcohol. All these uh, ordered, uh, systematic uh, facts uh, uh, helped me. I didn't sleep during the day uh, so that I would sleep uh, at night. And uh, similarly, when we uh, come if you look at church enterprises, uh, the way we uh, the, we serve the people, uh, it, it isn't sufficient to have uh, to be regularly praying, to be persons of strong faith. Uh, we have to be able to put our vision into action. So that means we have to be able to implement our service uh, to people. We have to be able to deal uh, with other people. Uh, um, once again, we, we need to channel our work um, uh, through nature. Miracles are very rare uh, in my limited uh, experience. They're real, I believe, in, the, in, in such uh, eventualities uh, once in a while, but it's uh, not been uh, uh, my experience. Uh, to, to find such regular uh, happenings. The church is not a business. The church is supernatural. 
we worship uh, the one true God who is transcendent. But we believe in the incarnation, that uh, God sent uh, his only son to come and uh, uh, live with us. And uh, so we bring the presence uh, of Christ and of God into um, our communities. And we have to use uh, money and methodology uh, to do this. And undoubtedly, um, money is uh, one of God's gifts. Uh, it is also um, a source of temptation. To say that the church is not a business provides no justification for us to be inefficient, much less uh, for us uh, to be corrupt. I remember being startled uh, when I learned soon after I came to, to Rome to work some, in something like the role of uh, Vatican uh, treasurer, to read that Mother Teresa, St. Teresa of Calcutta, had said that for the clergy there are often two uh, great challenges. One touches on sexuality and another touched on money. And she thought that the danger from money was greater and stronger than the dangers from uh, aberrant uh, uh, sexuality. Our Lord himself had a lot to say about riches. He was very clear on the subject. Once again, I remember being disconcerted. It might have been a decade or so ago when I read that our Lord co condemned the love of riches more than he condemned uh, hypocrisy. It is uh, salutary to remember that the only group to whom our Lord took the whip were the money changers, the, the traders uh, in the temple. Um, money is a tainted thing. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my work uh, with money. It is uh, quite uh, fascinating, but it needs to be uh, controlled uh, and managed. And this uh, course that uh, has been instituted so quickly. Things move slowly in Rome. This course got off uh, the ground quickly. There's already graduated uh, people. It is uh, not the main priority, but it is helping to uh, lay honest, uh, competent foundations to improve uh, the service and the work of uh, uh, the work of the church. One, one final point. I'm not suggesting for a minute that our priorities should be inverted. I remember speaking at a big convention of youth for Unione Liberazione, and it was, my talk was broadcast, and I said that it was harder to convert a person to Christ than to um, reform the Vatican finances. All the secular press they claimed that I said the opposite. They uh, inverted it. They thought it would be much harder to uh, to, 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 to in, in reform the, uh, the finances than, than to uh, convert a soul. I don't, I don't believe that. Um, both are important. The things of the spirit are more important. I congratulate uh, the Institute on the, what has been achieved. I thank uh, all the worldwide supporters for their support for the Institute, just as they supported me during my uh, travail from right around the world with their prayers and their best wishes. I'm enormously grateful for that. And I wish the Institute well, and I hope it continues to build and expand to uh, further the work of the kingdom of God. So. Uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I say thank you very much.